they were gonna backlash the crap out of this reel. Good lord, that's a bad bird's nest. Don't come off, don't come off. Woo! Still counts. Look at that bluegill. That's right, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Another day, another another fishing trip. Without Chris, another day without fishing with Chris. I'm going back to the pond again. So we got a pretty good bit of fish out with the uh, the spinner baits. Now we're gonna focus on another type of bait. I, I saw a kit in here last time that I was debating on getting and I think would work really well at the pond. So we're gonna go and pick that thing up. We're at Walmart again, by the way. I mean, you know, you're doing the Walmart thing because it's the only place open with all this this illness going around. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go get this kit. We're gonna catch, we're taking the catch cage back. We're gonna get more of those little fish out. Hopefully we're gonna catch some big ones this time though. Um, with removing those little ones, hopefully some of the bigger ones will be biting. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this. Who do, who do I wanna send me into? Let's get B-Lat. Send, send us into the old intro here, buddy. Hey guys, I'm B-Lat and welcome to another episode of Bee Fishing. Just like that, we are back in another another freaking Walmart. Now the kit that I saw last time that I thought would be really good in the pond, that's what we're gonna get today. So there's really not gonna be a whole lot in Walmart of us actually going and getting this kit. So we'll get on the aisle and uh, we'll grab this kit for you guys. And again, stay tuned because there's probably gonna be a giveaway. All right, so we should be in and out here pretty quick because here is the kit I'm looking at right here. This guy right here, the classic kits and uh, let's go through these real quick. So we've got the bigger cranks, little cotton cordell cranks. Got a nice little topwater kit there. It's got a little popper. Looks like a little jitterbug and another little hula popper. That one's pretty nice. Maybe later on in the year for that one for sure. Then we've got these little bombers. And these all look to be the same. Well, this one's a little different. So this one's got like a little like Fire Tiger, or a bigger like crawl crankbait, and then almost like a uh, like a bass crankbait. Then over here, this is the same style of crankbait, it's just in different colors. And we've got like a little chartreuse, uh, kind of like baby bass, and we've got a little like shad color, and then uh, it's, I think that's virtually the same color as the other one we've got right there. The question comes to which one of these do we want? And it basically, they're pretty much the same except for that center one. I think I wanna go with the crawl. So this is the one we're going with today. We're gonna grab this crankbait kit and uh, we're gonna go hit the pond. Here we go. So we're back at the pond and I've got my little, my little bomber crankbait selection there. So the goal today is to catch three fish, however, I want to catch more than that because the same rules are in play the last time I was at the pond when I had those spinner baits. I want to get the little fish out of here. So we got four in that video. We are back again with the old catch cage. So we're going to try to do it again. Now last video they were not really happy with the, uh, the spinner baits. They weren't munching as good as I thought. We did get four in like an hour, but I was really hoping for more like ten. So what we're gonna do, instead of a spinner bait bite, since we still don't have any wind today either, it's a beautiful day though, really is nice out. Since we don't have any wind today either, I'm going with the crankbait, which is the whole reason I said in the intro of the video, I saw them last time, I felt like I should have got them last time, I went with the spinner bait. We were still able to accomplish the video because, well, we're just that dang good, aren't we? No, not really. We actually kind of suck. So, we're gonna use these crankbaits. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them, a little bit of the reason why I think they're gonna work when we get out in the water. I'm gonna get the catch cage in the water and uh, let's tie these suckers on and get going, all right? All right, so I'm actually using a medium rod right there, a medium power rod. That's a medium heavy, I can get away with that one. Um, the setups are pretty much the same. Those are both 6.3 to 1 gear ratio reels. They are the PC Fun Phantom Xs. If you haven't already, you should check those things out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description and maybe even a code so y'all can get a discount on them. I really don't want to set the hook too hard on a crankbait. 
you can really mess up their mouths, rip their, rip their mouths up with these treble hooks and actually create a little bit of a gap where uh, they throw the hook. So I like a medium action rod just because the fish can really load up on it. Um, you can't really yank it out of their mouth or rip their, you know, rip their lips wide open with the treble hooks. It's just my thoughts on it. And plus, if you're fishing around cover, uh, it gives you a little bit more deflection. It's not just a thud as you would have like if you were fishing a heavy action rod. It'd be really nice if I could actually thread this knot on there. There we go. Little buddy back there. We've got this guy. This, these are gonna be really hard to cast. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there. We're gonna backlash the crap out of this reel because these are so light. Not saying it's impossible, but they're really light. Catch cage is there and it looks like it's on bottom, which I'm okay with. Let's get in the water and start catching some fish. All right, I don't know if I have said it this video or not, but this video is actually for a, uh, a catch and cook for me. So we're gonna do a little catch and cook with this as well. Not only are the crankbaits gonna get us some good content here, we're gonna talk about cranking a little bit, but we're also gonna have dinner. I'm actually, I'm gonna start off with the Fire Tiger, the little bomber 3F which I think that 3F, if I had to guess, stands for three foot. Um, don't hold me to that, but that's, in my mind, my little feeble mind, that's what that stands for. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to toss this far at all. First bird's nest. Told y'all, it's gonna happen. Good Lord, that's a bad bird's nest. That's your rough one right there. That's a that's a pretty pretty bad one. This one could take a minute. My undergraduate degree was in bird nesting. Master's degree in getting them out. I got faith that I'm not gonna be able to cast very far. I need to put it on that spinning rod I got back there. That may actually do it. I'll see if we can make do with this one and we may put that, that third small crankbait on that spinning rod. Got one that time. Don't come off, don't come off. Woo! Still counts. Bang, still counts. Uh-uh, sucker. Nope, putting you in the jaws of life right here. You coming with me, got him. All right, homeboy. Before we get back over there, we're gonna throw it on this guy. And this is what spinning tackle excels at. Sure, you can throw bigger baits on spinning tackle, absolutely. But these lighter setups really allow you to cast like a small little crank like this a lot further. I would say you're losing accuracy too because typically when you throw a spinning, spinning setup, you lose accuracy. However, don't know if y'all saw the way I was having to cast that bait caster to uh, get the crankbait where I wanted it, how far I wanted it. Accuracy was far from what I was what I was had. So we're not going to really lose much, but we're going to gain casting distance. Oh yeah, way better. Definitely a much better idea to fish this on a spinning setup. Plus it's just fun. I mean, listen to that. Oh, he's a decent sized bass. I don't know that you're gonna keep, bud. You choked it, holy crap. No wonder you were pulling drag. No, I think you're gonna stay in the pond. You inhaled that crank. Look at that on the little bitty mini crank. How about that? Oh my goodness. Wow. How long are you? You're not tagged and you kind of look like a, you are a spot. You're a spotted bass. You must have been one of Chris's transplants. You're a 15 incher. Yeah, we're not keeping you, bud. You're going back in the pond. I need you to keep growing. Chris, one of your spotted bass lived. I said it wouldn't live and look at that. It absolutely lived. All right, little spot friend. Yep, you ready? 
boom, gone. Yes, on the little mini crank, that little like baby bass look to it, baby bass painted crank, that spotted bass. Spots are just so aggressive and that's why it started pulling drag. I knew we had a decent fish when it started pulling drag, but I thought to myself, no, maybe it's just like a little one that's just fighting really hard because those little ones can be aggressive too, but spots, oh my gosh, that was fun. Man, that was fun. All right, well, I guess on to the next. All right, so a 15 incher. He was at least a pound. Um, so that's definitely not the guys we want to eat. We want, there's another big one just cruising right there. Are the big ones coming up now? Because I could get behind that. So now we've got the, all we've got left for this challenge is this little crawl, crawl style crankbait. By Bomber, this is an F4, so it's a four foot diving crankbait. It's got a little more weight to it, and it's obviously a bigger crankbait. So you would think bigger fish, but don't be fooled. I've caught crappies on a Bandit 200 before, and that's about the same size. All right, so I've made it to the last bait in this challenge, and that means it's time to tell y'all what to do to win the giveaway. First things first, what I need you to do is hit the like button, and then while you're doing that, go over to the, I think it's the right, just a little bit, and down. And if that subscribe button is still red, turn it gray. And if the ding dong notifications aren't on, it's a little bell beside it, turn those on. That just notifies you anytime I release a new video. And the way I announce the winner is I post it in the next video. Announce it in the description of the next video that is released. And what I need you to do in the comments is I need you to put hashtag spotted bass because that is the bass we caught in this pond. And uh, tell me your favorite crankbait. I wanna know what your favorite crankbait is. Um, Y'all know on this channel, it's the Bandit 200s. We love the Bandit 200s. That has to be hands down our favorite crankbait. But I wanna know what your favorite crankbait is in the comments with the hashtag spotted bass. That's a decent fish. At least I think it's a decent fish. Nope. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this guy. Look at that bluegill. Holy crap. That is a dang bluegill. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Can y'all believe that? Look at that bluegill. My goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what, he's a keeper. We're gonna keep him and we're gonna take him back too. Oh my gosh, I can almost, I can almost put you in the, the, oh my gosh, you are massive. Can you believe that? So the fish we just caught on this biggest, the bigger crankbait is a bluegill and a massive one at that. I wonder if I can fit you through there. He is a very unhappy bluegill. He's a little unhappy. For this video, I guess we're done, but I wanna go catch some more. I wanted to catch a bass on that crankbait. That's what I was after. I wanted to catch a bass on the crankbait. I'm calling it. Well, I think it is time to call this one a day. I got what I needed out of it. We completed the crankbait challenge. All right, let me see if I can get these two little guys up and out of here that we've got in here. Well, y'all may be surprised to know this. My bluegill escaped. How about that? My bluegill escaped. He must have jumped out through the top. So you're telling me I came out here and fished for forever and all I got is that little skinny guy that looks like me. If I was a bass, I'd be that bass right there. I got that skinny bass for this catch and cook. All right, folks, I'm tired. And uh, my bluegill got away. It's a bummer. I'm gonna get home. We're gonna see if we can't fillet up this one little bass and give it a try. How about that? All right, folks, so we made it back to the house and I have already got the little bass filleted up. I actually went back and got a second one off camera, called a second one and I filleted it up as well. So we've actually got two bass filleted up in here. We've got a little Louisiana 
fish fry in the blue, you know, just your regular seasoned and crispy. And then we've also got the uh, vegetable oil in the old Presto pot, the, the fry daddy that we're gonna dip in there. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's, let us begin. So I actually put some milk in the bag. That was Chris's recommendation. He says it takes the gaminess out of the fish. Uh, if it is, it had, does have any gamey flavor to it, just soak it in milk for a little bit. So that's what we did. Now I filleted them off camera for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm not very good at um, filleting fish. Number two, uh, YouTube hates that kind of stuff. Here we go. Alright folks, I'm going to say this is done. If it's anything like snapper or grouper, it just doesn't take that long. It's probably been in here about four minutes. Yeah, they're starting to curl. That's good. Nice, crispy, brown. Whew. I'm going to call that good right there. Alright folks, we're going to try one of these. Alright, here goes nothing. Still a little hot. It's pretty good. Mm hmm. Well, I quite like that. I'm gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little catch and cook. A lot of y'all want to see the catch and cooks. Mm. That's pretty tasty. All right, so I'm gonna get back to eating those, and we're gonna see y'all in the next one. If you like this, hit the like button. Leave a comment below on if y'all want to see any other catch and cooks like bluegill, crappie, whatever. Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, as always, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button and uh, turn it gray and uh, hit the ding dong notifications next to it if you want to be notified anytime I drop a new video. I believe this was a giveaway video as well, so if you want to win those cranks, you need to follow the instructions that were in the video and we'll give away those cranks as well. That'll be in the next video in the description, so if you don't have the ding dong notifications on, you may miss it. And uh, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am out. Later. Later.